Jim, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're gonna demonstrate on just how easy it is to fly the DJI Phantom. We're down here on one of the most dangerous beaches in the state of California, and I'm gonna let my wife take it up for the first time. So watch, see if you can get a few tips out of this, and you'll have no problem flying your Phantom too. Okay gang, I just wanted to introduce you to my wife. This is Michelle, and Michelle is going to be taking her very first flight on a DJI Phantom. Have you ever flown a Phantom before? No. And what do you think? Are you worried about it? No. No? You've seen me fly it before. Yes. So you know how easy it is to fly the Phantom. Right. All right, so we're gonna take off here in just a second. Again, we're on the most dangerous beach in California with its riptide currents and its magnificent waves. So I figured we'd come down here and shoot this because if she was really gonna have a problem, Phantom's gonna end up out there in the ocean somewhere. But if you follow all of the right instructions and take your time and do your pre-flight checks, you won't have a problem either. Another thing you'll hear me talking about a lot is prop guards. I always recommend that all novice flyers have prop guards on their Phantom. And the only reason I don't here is because I'm going for maximum flight time. But you notice I still have my front propellers painted yellow. And that is to help orientation. When you're out there flying, you want to be able to tell where the front, the back, the sides of your aircraft are. So by painting my front yellow props, then I can always tell where the front of the aircraft is. The same thing with prop guards. If you put prop guards on your Phantom, paint the front ones yellow and leave the back ones white. That way you'll have an easier time with orientation. Alright, before you take off, there's a few things you want to do for your pre-flight check. Number one is the switches on your Phantom. You want to make sure that you're in the GPS mode all the way to the top and that your home lock and course lock switch is in the off position. So both switches straight up. Take your antenna, turn it at about a 45 degree angle. Make sure you've got fresh AA batteries in your radio and your radio is all set to go. On your Phantom, you want to make sure your props are tight. These are self-tightening vision props, so these props aren't going to come off and I recommend you upgrade to these if you have prop nuts on your Phantom. So make sure your prop nuts are on good and tight because you don't want to have a prop nut come off and you're going to tumble to the ground because you've lost a prop in the middle of your flight. Okay, so check your prop nuts and then uh, get ready to put your battery in and we're just about ready to go. All right, sweetheart, now we're getting ready to take off and I want to go through this with you. The first thing you want to do is arm the Phantom. To arm it, you pull down and to the center and then all of your props are going to start turning. And then go back to the neutral position and your props will be in the idle position. Then to take off, you'll push your throttle all the way forward and then your Phantom will come up off the ground. When it gets to about three to five feet off the ground, let back on that throttle so it's right in the center again. And then you can actually take your thumb off the, th off the throttle and the Phantom will hover right there in that position. So that's what we're gonna try first. We're getting ready to take off here. The first thing you do is turn on your radio. All right, after you've got your radio on, now we're going to arm the Phantom. So push your battery all the way in and then close your battery door up. Some of you might have the Phantom battery where you're gonna tuck your wires on the inside. We're uh, plugging into our OSD system, so we plug in on the outside of the Phantom. So you arm your Phantom. Once you've got your Phantom armed, don't move it around. Just let it sit there and get its GPS lock because you want to keep an eye on your LED indicator. When that LED indicator flashes 20 times green, it's got a constant blipping 20 green flashes in a row. That means your Phantom has marked its home point. And if you get into trouble, you can turn off your radio and it'll come back to its home point. So do not take off until you see those 20 green flashes. Three red LEDs means you've got less than six satellites. Two red, there, there's the 20 green flashes, so now we've marked our home point. So we've got one red LED, that means we've got more than six satellites, and now we've got a constant green. So we've probably got 10 satellites or more 
that are locked into the Phantom were ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? So now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is going to be a piece of cake. All right, let's arm the Phantom. <clears throat> the Phantom is armed, and now we're going to take it up to about five feet and go back to a hover. Well, that's a little bit farther than five feet, but that's okay. Pull down on the throttle a little bit. There you go, and go back to hover. And there we go. Now, you'll notice that the Phantom is staying pretty much where it's supposed to stay. That means we've got good compass calibration. So, we're in a hover, and she's not having to control the aircraft at all, and she's on her very first Phantom <laughs> flight. You can do it too, gang. All you've got to do is take your time, do the right things, make sure you do your pre-flight check. All right, let's do a little bit of maneuvering now. On your left stick, you want to push it up on your left stick, and you're going to go up. Left? Yep, left stick up. All right, there you go. And take it up a little higher. And a little higher than that. All right, now bring it back down again. So throttle down. And you want to always throttle down very carefully, very slowly, because the Phantom takes a few feet to recover before it locks its position. So you don't want to pull the throttle all the way down. Just gently pull the throttle up and down to take your aircraft up and down. Now we're going to move forward and back. So on your right stick, push the stick forward and let's watch it go out toward the ocean. <coughs> Not too far toward the ocean, hopefully. <coughs> so you can see where the front of your aircraft is and you're going out in that direction. So let's orient it to you, okay? Because we're a little bit cockeyed. Okay, so the trick is, on your first flight, you always want to keep the front of the aircraft away from you. So now when she pulls back on her stick, the Phantom is going to come toward her. So on this stick here, just come back toward you. And just bring it back and watch the Phantom track straight back toward you. Go a little bit to the left, <coughs> to your left with a stick. There you go, and then back a little bit, and that'll bring it back toward us. <clears throat> and there you go. All right, now lean to your left with the stick. And we're moving left, and now lean to the right with your stick. <clears throat> See, you notice that her stick movements are very, very gentle. You're not pulling on the stick a lot. It's just very, very minute little movements with your thumbs. So take it really easy on your sticks and the Phantom won't get away from you. All right, now let's bring it in for a landing. So let's see if she can do this. We're gonna take her and have her land it right on the picnic table because that's how good she is as a beginner, novice pilot. So she's hovering above the picnic table <clears throat> and once you've landed on the table, pull the sticks down into the middle to disarm it. <clears throat> and down. <laughs> up, go up. All right, we're on our second try for landing on the picnic table. <clears throat> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she didn't quite make the picnic table, it's gang, so but that's okay because that was her very first flight with a DJI Phantom. And with a couple more flights, she could ace that and get it to land right there on that picnic table. So once again, take your sweet time with your first flight on your DJI Phantom. If you've got any questions or comments or you're not quite sure about something, just give me a comment at the bottom. So there it was, her first Phantom flight. She did a, just an absolutely terrific job. 
The wind out here is blowing probably 10 to 12 miles an hour, but the Phantom corrects itself in the wind. So you don't have to worry about your Phantom getting away from you unless the wind is getting up in that 15 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour range. Then you want to be careful about flying, especially on your first flight. But she did terrific. She got it up in the air. She maneuvered around. She did her left and her rights. That's the trick on your very first Phantom flight. Keep the front of the aircraft away from you and just fly out, fly back, fly to the left, fly to the right. But do not rotate the Phantom on its axis. You're just gonna get yourself in trouble. I'm gonna take this one out for a little bit of FPV flying. So uh, let's put the goggles on and don't forget to subscribe. Please like my videos so I move up a little bit in the rankings. I'm Jim Bowers. We'll see you on another YouTube video. Bye-bye.